city looks to find millions of dollars to improve jail conditions, reform the police department, and to fund the firefighters' pensions. The mayor is asking voters, you from across Louisiana, to approve a proposed property tax hike in Orleans Parish for police and fire protection. Reporter Andy Cunningham tells us it's one of two constitutional amendments on the November 4th ballot that would affect only New Orleans, but still must be approved by a majority of voters statewide. The city of New Orleans is hopeful come this time next month, voters from across the state, along with the majority of Orleans Parish voters, will have approved the first passage of a proposed millage increase to levy additional tax for police and fire protection. Let's be very clear here. We're changing the Louisiana Constitution. So before New Orleanians can decide whether or not to raise their own taxes, the rest of the state has to bless this change to the Constitution. Tulane political analyst Mike Sherman said it's a cork in Louisiana state law, partly because Orleans is both a parish and a city. We're not changing tax rates with this vote. We're deciding whether or not New Orleanians should be entitled to change their tax rates in the future. If voters statewide approve the millage increase for New Orleans public safety, the city council then would decide whether to put it before the city's registered voters for a separate vote. The second constitutional amendment on the ballot this November election that every resident here in Louisiana will get a say in, should the city of New Orleans be able to sell abandoned properties like this one here in the Lower Ninth Ward at below market value. Once again, Sherman said for this to move forward, a change to the state's constitution is required. The idea is to spur growth in the Lower Ninth, still struggling to recover almost a decade after Katrina. In the state's mind, to get these properties back on the tax rolls, paying taxes back into commerce, that's a good thing. Plus, the state doesn't have to maintain them anymore. The amendment would bar developers and other businesses from purchasing the properties. From the Lower Ninth Ward, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News. And the proposed property tax hike amendment would double the current millage for a homeowner with a $200,000 home in New Orleans. The increase could mean roughly an extra $200 a year in taxes.